Hey guys, it's Sander. Today, I want to talk about sex as a trans guy. I know I've talked about sexuality as a trans guy before, but I haven't actually talked about sex. And I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about that as much as they should. And I'm pretty open about my sex life, so I was like, ah, why not? I'll just make the video. Little warning, this is going to be incredibly explicit, so, um... Don't watch if you don't want an explicit video about sex. What a concept. It's definitely changed within the past year for me. Essentially, with my first girlfriend, it, and this is kind of the pattern that has been following since then, at least with girls, is I would do like oral on her, or finger her, or whatever, and have sex that way, but I wouldn't really get anything in return. And that was actually my own choice at the time. With her, she is very, very openly like pansexual and like, by gender, I think, unless those labels have changed recently, which they might have, I don't talk to her very much, but she was very understanding of all of it, she's kind of the reason why I like started to come out to people and stuff like that pretty much. So it wasn't that I was really nervous about her with it, I just didn't feel very comfortable with it. Like I'm, I've always been really fine with masturbating, like totally okay with that. It's just when it adds someone else into the equation, I would get kind of uncomfortable. So yeah, we did, we gave it a try, I think maybe once or twice throughout that. It felt good, I just, I was very nervous about it and like, I didn't end up like orgasming or anything. Not her fault, like she seemed fine at it, I just, I don't know, it was like a mental thing for me. So that was kind of the first instance and like we had quite a bit of sex because we dated for a while. I know I've mentioned this before where there was this one girl who I was trying to get with but it was like really difficult because she didn't want to date a trans guy and that didn't end up happening. So after that I kind of had like an awakening moment where I was like, fuck. Like, I, I know how I am in relationships, and a lot of times, like, I just get very, very into it, and, like, I don't know how long it's gonna last. After that moment, it was, like, beginning of my sophomore year of college, I was like, alright, well, I've never had sex with a guy before. Well, a cisgender guy. So, why not try that? Just because, I, I didn't know if it was something that I'd be into, but I just really wanted to have the experience, and just see what it was like. So. I had sex with this one guy. He did do oral on me. I didn't come. That was again kind of my own choice where I was like, mm. at one point I was like, alright, this is taking a while and it's not his fault, it's just me. So, you know, why not just give him a blowjob now? So yeah, we had sex where he was fucking me in the vagina and like it, it felt good, but it lasted like literally, I want to say a minute or two minutes and then he came and I was like, well, um, I kind of wanted more of an experience with it than just something that would last that long because I didn't really get a good feel of like how it really was. And then after that I didn't really have sex with a guy again, mostly because I was like wow that just like wasn't that exciting, like why try and have sex with more people. So then I started dating the girl who I was most recently dating, it ended like a little bit less than a year from now, and we dated for a little over 10 months. That was an interesting situation. I thought it was a good relationship, and it really was. I mean, you know, she was being... Like, it, it ended up working pretty well. Well, okay, so essentially, it was again the same situation where I would do oral on her all the time, but I would never get it reciprocated. But it was different in this instance where, like, she very heavily identified as a straight girl. Never really offered to reciprocate it to me. And it didn't really bother me at the time, because I was like, well, I don't really want it anyway, so like, I guess that's fine. But it started bothering me more and more, where like, sometimes before class, you know, we would start making out or whatever, and then she would want me to finish her off, and I'd be like, yeah. And then I would be really horny for the class, and she would be fine. And I was like, great, this is perfect. Um, that's actually not why it ended, I was going to talk to her about it, and then she was the one who ended it. Oh, another aspect of that is that we actually started using a strap-on. We only used that like three times. I'm really, really bad at using a strap-on, to be quite honest. Not to brag, I am very good at, like, oral, fingering girls, all that kind of stuff. But it was just weird for me, because then I had this strap-on, and like, just the way that it was attached to me, it kind of like, it was a little loose. Not, I don't know, it's hard to explain, really hard to explain, but... It was very hard to get like a full penetration with that, where like really the only thing that worked well was when she was like on top of me. I didn't do a very good job about that. We were gonna work more on that and then she broke up with me. Not for that reason. It was actually nothing sexually related. Um, I've talked about it in previous videos, but I'm not going to now. Yeah, that was kind of, at that point I was like, hmm, okay. I don't think that I want to be in a situation like that again, where like it's never offered to me or I don't get anything out of it. Cause it's just, it, I don't know, it gets frustrating. After we broke up, I had another kind of sexual awakening thing where I was like, 
alright, I'm out of a relationship, let's fuck all these guys. I end up having sex with like four different guys. Don't worry, I'm fine, STD free, use protection, it's all good. And like some of them were definitely better than others, and some of them did try and give me oral. I don't know, a lot of them didn't last very long again, and it was kind of like, okay, whatever. And I also, alright, so this is going to get even more specific, but like, I'm very, very comfortable with doing pretty much anything masturbating wise, and so I actually much prefer using like a dildo or fingering myself than like a guy fucking me. Um, and I don't know if that's just because I've not had sex with the right guy. To be fair, all these guys are gay guys, and they probably don't really know how to fuck a vagina very well. So, like, I'll, I'll give them that benefit of a doubt. But it was definitely an interesting situation where it just... I don't know, I didn't really get a lot out of the actual sex itself. It's definitely hard to explain, and it's, it's weird, because I do know trans guys who, you know, love... Like, they're, they're dating a guy, and, like, they have sex, and it's all totally fine. But, you know, it's just... it's very different. For each person and this is where my difference is also the other thing with gay sex is like I would love the top guys that would be a lot of fun but I can't really unless I use a strap on and I'm not very good at it so I don't really want to do that that was kind of my sexual awakening and now I'm actually in a relationship with a girl again <laughs> leave it to me to have that happen um, and it's all is a great situation like you know we, we were friends for a while beforehand and it's a long story but anyways, yeah, those are kind of my feelings on just, like, sex as a trans guy. With both men and women, I'm always happy to talk about this kind of stuff. So, um, like, literally, if you have any question about, like, anything, even if you want me to get more specific about sex and stuff, like, just ask me and I will answer it. I do not feel uncomfortable with it. Um, I will probably answer in very explicit ways, and that's just because that's how I talk. So if you don't want me to answer that way, just let me know. It's kind of hard not to be explicit when talking about sex. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later.